Okay, time for this week MLP vlog. I think this is the quickest I got to one. The absolute jet finish literally crashed and rolled. And I ran over here to do this. Um, typically, I do it when I watch it later. Sleep. Uh, weird if I get to watch it live. Go. So, happy hard morning, everybody. Uh, Christmas in October. Now Christmas in May. And now doing lots of the make. I got other projects that have in it for some reason. I'm doing this list. Which happens to have got it on it. I had one way show at the moment, which happens to have a machine I'm in. Now that go. Yay. Um, the other one, well, you got a hint what the other one I watched. Well, but anyway, I'll have to come on. Um, in, anyway, now watch my little pony take the third heartwarming special. And this one being a heartwarming tale, written by Michael Fogel. And yep, another. New writer who can actually produce her on the show. I'm quite funny, so we can try it writing. Go so later and see how he does. So, in this episode, it is start like first hard forming, and you know, you know, and she goes all, all grumpy about the holiday. So, try to kind of read her a story about the other, the other pony in order to get a fear of make a real idea what hard forming really about. And that story is a Christmas carol. Pretty much. That's why I call a hard forming tale. I'm not sure I have a tale. It fell, you know, but it can come for Carol, and it can be a school. Fourth me club code in, I believe, four in a row. Yeah, I can be four, five, and get all of me club codes, which I find to be very interesting, actually. Um, I could probably actually can be tradition each thing. Anyway, we can go for Holly up code in. I've talked. I had to do a quick and ready heartbreaker on a phone, you know, like that. Anyway, go. We we'll come here to be. And it kind of want to buy a new writer too. We all well, he might want to wrap a code go. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'm not gonna to out to yet. Cause we're going different beat. Cause we're going more fillery. I want to learn something, but um, and I could probably make it work the bet. Even though I'm going to probably better, this one work better cause it's filler. It's like. You know, probably I'm coming, but you can skip it and it doesn't matter. And the plot group of Carol. So, if looking at the plot don't match with Carol, it's not that interesting plot. Again, with it, it's not, not compared, it's not a plot relevant. Like, you have to watch Vogar Replica and Quinn Can Glock Mark. You probably, whatever. Damn, you might have too, like, by the way. Um, <laughs> um, go, just can see, like, um, the Anyway, um, go so if you, you can give a cup of not look anything, and if you don't be cool, then whatever. It's a Billy Holly episode, you don't have to worry about it. But if you don't like it, it's like, whatever, who cares? But anyway, uh, for Holly Pull Off, well, I have a compromise with Big Club Cook and Holly episode. Can you imagine how much I really enjoyed this one? But Holly Fear, probably better than the other one because of the song. I'm very like eight Kong for one, but alright. I'm not forgettable Kong is showing up. Make me made up for that with the back later on, and don't get killed with flip. Speaking of which, we'll patch out holiday up code. I got the perfect vlog for that one. But, um, that, that holiday, the thing you mentioned, Chris Billiken, it'd be a whole fish thing, even weirder, but that one was alright. Better than Willing Pumpkin, by the way. He also had her name on a uh, holiday up code for, I believe, Camp Langolo, so. Yeah, I don't think he wrote it, but she had her hand in it. She did not do the Spudge Rock one, oddly enough. Anyway, on back with the uh, Fog himself. Really good. I don't think they stand out as much with the other one. There's more variety there. But here we're still good. Starlight gets a uh, villain. Of course, gets no. Everyone playing their part. Starlight and Scrooge. And if you follow my blog, you read my review of Barbie, Chris McCarroll. I complained that the Scrooge they had was not. She looked like Barbie, but she will get wiped by the game Perk and Kelly Sheridan. Um, for whatever reason, because they wanted a private look of Barbie and Scrooge. I believe the god heard of me because here we have Kelly Sheridan, Kelly Sheridan, voicing Cruz in some way. Hello? Did they read my review? You know, despite the fact that the script was probably launched like a year ago. <laughs> uh, but that cow, that cow, I've seen pictures of the script, they get launched like a long time in advance, which means they have to be working together right now if it's gonna happen. Or they go. But yeah, song very getting you a holiday spirit. And they kept going like Heartbreaker gives you the spirit really well. Very uh I again yeah, Heartbreaker does a thing to where I'm like if I watch it in December it can be even better. Go on Twitter, give me Eric Rogers and go start writer kinda like man, why didn't the guy like in 
for whoever, you know, like, yeah, I've been quite perfect. I mean, perfect like in May, really? I mean, October is bad enough, but, but like, May, you're even further off for closer, than your point of view. <laughs> um, it, it's very strange. But, um, on the go, very, it's silly, but it's very entertaining. The Crippin' Carol thing is done well. It's big, again, it's big, it's fun. It's some it's good casting. You have Pink Pie go to Crippin' Pregnant. Um, they heard being literally a pregnant, too. Guess she and Blue Ron can't page on that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Crippin' Carol top Blue in the tradition, by the way, picking up Crippin' Carol's softer. Just saying. <laughs> that would absolutely rip the fat, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> okay, I, did, I may not be watching Fox Brook at the moment, so I kind of had that in the brain. <laughs> but, um, I'm all over playing some Vickers again today, and that much to critique of Japan. But it's Russian community of how they're late. Um, you know, Cruz against me, you know, run black. Again, that's how I point out, Starlight again. It's much but it's fun and more. Interesting again, it's more cute when we go get that the you know, deepest plot. Good character, kind of like, but you know the story and how it goes, so it's not like you need a ton of detail. Um, you know, put in 22 minutes and they have to get up and think we don't cut back to them talking story too much. We got a few bits of it, and one was for Spike, gotta go, we have to take a break right before the commercial, which is, you know, great. Um, we got Batman too, like, well, the Starlight in the crew, the Regan to go to Vinger because she. Uh, crew, she wants you to spell Gabriel Heartwarming, and then Starlight, you know, in real life, can get cool stream, and like, basically, like, oh, you don't want to talk? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, you got pretty petty Regan, too, you know, being petty or screwed here, but I digress. Um, and Kelly Sharon, I'm not going to park on this one. She can get a little bit long, and it didn't really listen. You can tell she wanted to do the screw drawer, and kind of screw over and party. I know it, I know more about Barbie than I care to know. Um, <laughs> um it's like four feet, darling Barbie, it's the meaning. You know, I remember I learned that in a reaction back. I think I might still have it. See, I think I put it up somewhere else. I might still have it on here somewhere. But, um, <laughs> that, crazy. And the, the captain should be pretty fun. Fun, uh, little crimping captain go from joke and like, Take on a Christmas Carol and it's very entertaining, very Christmasy, even more going to Heartbreaker. And that was a better story, I would say, but this one definitely more entertaining Christmas Carol album. This was one I definitely be watching for your heart for me. It's kind of decent, i good, but that one I'm probably not going to watch out of obligation more than it being really good. This one, Heartbreaker, I'm watching that being really good. Um, and uh, this one, um, I probably am giving a better rating to it, but only because of the style it's done in, but um, Heartbreak is still very, you know, well, both are roughly, sort of like, entertaining, not took like, objective value. Again, this one of that value done what it done well. It's not meant to be that deep of a story. Starlight is not that really true story. Think about it, about the bullet again. Yeah, it's a drink. Come on, kill. Okay, just a fun little, well, yeah, go. Well, if you play that too much, then you kind of miss the point of it. Also, the cat to go to the heartwarming yet to come, and, and you know, yeah, to can put it. Um. Yeah, that good cat thing too. I mean, some people again when you think about oh a big pro cat, better cat especially um that again a couple other voice can go people weren't about to go cooing um the voice cats will go the perk and not gonna spoil it. Go again, I think it seems like one of a ghost actually too. Go oh, there you go. Dumb <laughs> No yeah, not a lot to okay. It meant to be entertainment and you know, the only issue with it it'd be kinda of on the rush side probably, but again, that's kinda of the point. It's not really meant to take in that kind of thing story. But overall, really, really entertaining cookie thing. But only because I and it can be quite because they're much right, but they all con 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 good, my favorite being that villain Kong and all the clackle feel to it and they punctuate the right moment, I think. I don't think I think they help going along a little better due to the nature of it than the other one. Again, vlog a lot better. Go overall, go Vic one definitely watch every December. Uh, very, very entertaining. Pump entertaining one can go far, you know, objectively a better one, but you look entertaining and, you know, interesting. I like Epicode, I have a really cop out for Epicode that break the mold and come different, like telling a story or being me or whatever. Go, um, go like the form of garlic and what they did and entertaining. Get all your recall from the same thing, you know. Go, they kind of got my sweet spot. Overall, really entertaining, even if, even if it should not be airing in May. 
I'm probably talking too fast because I want to get a going with it because I'm excited to get Looking for a particularly entertaining one, so it'll be fun to even get come to cumber like I did with Heartbreaker. So, so I shall see you next for a little Pet Shop episode 100. Yeah. Bye. Happy heartwarming.